Okay. If you were here last week, you would have seen this plant in full bloom here on the cliff. This is Sanguinary canadensis. It's the plant I use to determine progress of the spring. And this year, it bloomed one of the three earliest times in 20 some years that I've been recording this plant. These have already been pollinated because the pistols, pistols are starting to swell. And uh, I brought a sample with me and get out of, out of my leash. But I wanted, to, I wanted to mention why it's called bloodroot. And characteristic of the spring wildflowers, the petals are gone because this has been pollinated and this will get bigger and bigger and bigger. This is the old pistil, stigma style ovary. Inside are ovules, which are the seeds. And if it was pollinated, this, this part keeps to growing. And we'll talk more about that in this. Uh, the seeds on these things have a lysosomes, little fatty structures, have nothing to do with the development of the seed, but ants love them. And so when this capsule breaks, ants will carry those seeds all over the place. So if you have a little bit of blood root somewhere, before long the ants will be planting it everywhere for you. Now, if I can find a knife, We'll look to see why it is called blood root. Uh, this is not a root. This is a rhizome. These are roots. But if it's cut, it bleeds. And sanguine is the antibacterial substance in the rhizome. Uh, and it used to actually be uh, used in toothpaste, but some people are sensitive to it, and they say it can cause a skin rash. Um, I've never experienced that. As a kid, we'd paint our faces with it and do all kinds of stuff. But I do know um, that sanguine is still a veterinarian medicine, and that's canadensis. Um, well we'll talk about that later but this is why it is called blood root so I've carried one of these around with me for years and then I'd stick it back in the ground when I got home and literally the ants have planted blood root everywhere I start out with one little patch and now it, it covers an acre or more because of ant dispersal 33 percent of the woodland plants we're going to look at some more of them here shortly use seed dispersal by ants and um, it's more effective in a woodland situation than wind pollinated or wind dispersal like dandelion so ants carry them everywhere look to your left and you'll see we're going to walk over to that shooting star i thought there would be more in bloom today 